Nikola Stock still hasn't lost its broad market appeal. It is showing strength in this session of today, the 10th of August 2023. In line with what is going on in the, with the broader market, you can see the Dow is up 1.15%. The SM, the um, S&P up 1.16%. The, the Nasdaq up 1.43%. So uh, we can see Nikola is uh, fluctuating between roughly 6.9% 6, 6 to 7.12%. At some point it was up, uh, up around uh, 10%. All of that is uh, the reason why I'm saying this appeal is still there is because it's the um, the most second is the most active stock apart from uh, edible uh, gardens edible gardens is, uh, is up uh, or is the most active because of uh, some reason out there more active uh, it's more active than than tesla but maybe as the session proceeds it may tesla may become more active but um, my theory that is it has a broad market appeal is still valid is still valid since i uh, came up with that since um as uh, all since all the way back in june of this year i've been saying that you know it, there's a broad market appeal it's you know market participants are you know aligning it with the broader market and it's still very much a valid theory you know um it's the volume so far 29 of even if not even more 29 million shares let's get that volume now let's get the volume for the stock let's see let's see what the volume is 33.75 okay and then uh, for tesla let's see what the volume is tesla is okay still very much uh, more active still much more active than um than uh tesla okay so we have um let's get back to uh nicola and kla let's get back to it so meanwhile this is this is the order book this is what's going on li right now live okay so 6.2 percent that's the gain it has uh, run up and we have this publication at uh from um Market Watch. They are saying uh, that um, uh, uh, Nikola is definitely one of the amongst uh, 20, 20 companies that is uh, that expected to uh, show the highest compound annual growth uh, revenue from uh, this year, twenty twenty three to, to through twenty twenty five. You can see it's uh, the number. It's number three on that list. The number three on that list. Even uh, Tesla is not on that list, is it? really okay tesla is on a different league on a, of its own but um it's definitely not that on that list uh there's a uh, fisker there there's polestar there is uh lucid and um a couple of other um ev companies and uh hydrogen cell uh companies so given all of that we can see what's going on with the stock let's see whether we can get the projections we have uh here on the one minute live chart we have um yeah, because it's um, it has given up so much much of those gains. It ran up in this uh, in the pre-market session, as a matter of fact, and it's given up some of those gains. So it's now um, um, on its uh, Fibonacci, this Fibonacci grid we have. It's just trading above its uh, lowest upper projection on its one-minute live chart. So uh, the downward projection from where it is right now is 2.02, but there are by far more upper projections, 2.08. 2.09 all the way towards uh, 2.17 this is on the one minute charts so on the let's look at the 30 minute chart and see what the pro projections are we have there 2.08 on the one minute okay so we have uh on a 30 minute chart we have 2.32 can it get there is that something that can happen 2.32 it's yeah, possible possible in this session 2.32 and uh, let's get to the one day chart uh, this this will be a much more much more of uh, an intraday projection projections of all the way towards uh, 5.18 we haven't seen that in a very long time in, with um, nicola but uh, never say never it has actually come quite close to projection of uh, 3.54 so we had a printed uh, a close of uh, of uh, printed 3.42 as of the close of um just 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 exactly one week ago 3.38 so this is uh, some market participants might see that it has corrected they might see this as a buying opportunity on its uh one day chart let's see where it's um okay let's see we we whether we can get um okay it's act on this chart i think it's um below a couple of its um probably i think it is um right round where it's uh, moving averages are i think let's get those moving averages 
a 10 day moving average is at 2.56 so it's uh, trading below its moving averages those 10 10 10 day moving average is at 2.56 20 days at 2.45 the 40 day moving average is at 1.1 1.9 okay so the closest moving averages are the 40 and 50 day moving averages so it's that those are the ones we are looking at right now over here so still below its um 10 and 20 day moving averages indicating that um uh, maybe it has a good chance you know there's some some weakness may, might be there but it's also uh signaling that um, an opportunity is there there's an opportunity there you know um if those moving averages begin to retrace then it also might encourage mark more uh, buyers to get involved you know right now some of most of a lot of them are definitely getting involved yeah they are definitely buying so we have projections like i indicated earlier on all the way towards uh, 5.22 but the closest to where it is uh the closest it has um it hasn't reached in a long time it hasn't ever really reached is um 3.54 but uh, from where it is right now we have a projection of 2.55 2.75 2.75 yeah, 2 the next one is at 2.99 and then uh, after that we have uh, 2.32 and then we have uh, 3.54 so all of these are quite possible all of these are quite possible you know so um, my analysts are you know optimistic about um, the prospects of um, Nikola stock so see what you make of it and I'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video